Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome to evening prayer. This is Sunday evening where he's presented at the temple. And today it just so happens to also be New Year's Eve. So happy New Year to everybody that's there. Please be safe tonight. At least in the uh, Milwaukee area here, we're starting to get some uh, type of sleet and that real slippery snow. So be careful out there tonight. But rather focus on the presentation of Christ. Let's join together. O oh God, come to our assistance. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Be present with us, Lord, for his evening. The day which you have given us is nearly complete. Be our light and scatter the darkness from our midst. Hear us as we lift to you our evening prayer and praise. Let my prayer rise before you like incense, my uplifted hands like an evening sacrifice. Alleluia. I have called on you, Lord. Come to me quickly. Listen to my voice when I call to you. Let my prayer rise before you like incense, my uplifted hands like the evening sacrifice. Set a guard on my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch at the door of my lips. Don't incline my heart to any evil thing, to deeds of wickedness with those who are sinners. Don't let me share in their feasting. Let the godly strike me, it will be a kindness. If they correct me, it will be like oil on the head. Let me not refuse it. Let my prayer be against the deeds of the wicked. When evil rulers are thrown off the sides of a cliff, the people will hear my words, for they are well spoken. Like rocks brought up by the plow, so the bones of the wicked will lie scattered at the mouth of the grave. My eyes look to you, Yahweh, my Lord, in you I take refuge. Don't abandon my soul. Keep me safe from the traps set by evildoers, from snares they have laid for me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, as now and will be forever. Amen. The day is now past, and the evening is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Yahweh, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, Delivered by your power from all the works of darkness. Amen. In his temple now behold him, see the long expected Lord. Ancient prophets had foretold him. God hath now fulfilled his word. Now to praise him, his redeemed, shall break forth with one accord. In the arms of her who bore him, virgin pure, behold him, the lie while his aged saints adore him, ere in perfect faith they die. Alleluia, alleluia, lo the incarnate God most high. Jesus, by thy presentation, thou who didst for us endure, make us see thy great salvation, seal us with thy promise sure, and present us in thy glory to thy Father cleansed and pure. Prince and author of salvation, be thy boundless love our theme. Jesus, praise to thee be given by the world thou didst redeem. With the Father and the Spirit, Lord of majesty supreme. Yahweh has made known his salvation. He has displayed it for all the peoples to see. Alleluia. On the holy mountain stands the city founded by the Lord. He loves the city of Jerusalem more than any other city in Israel. O city of God, what glorious things are said of you. I will count Egypt and Babylon among those who know me, also Philistia and Tyre, even distant Ethiopia. They have become citizens of Jerusalem. Regarding Jerusalem, it will be said, everyone enjoys the rights of citizenship here, and the Most High will personally bless this city. 
When the Lord registers his nations, he will say, they have all become citizens of Jerusalem. The people will play flutes and sing, the source of my life springs from Jerusalem. Yahweh has made known his salvation. He has displayed it for all the peoples to see. Alleluia. O oh, praise the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you who serve at night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your holy hands in prayer and praise the Lord. May the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you from Jerusalem. Yahweh has made known his salvation. He has displayed it for all the peoples to see. Alleluia. Behold, the Lamb is coming soon bringing his reward with him, to repay all people according to their deeds. He is the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes. They will be permitted to enter through the gates of the city and eat the fruit from the tree of life. The Lord has sent his angel to us to reveal his testimony for all the churches. He is both the source of David and the heir of his throne. He is the bright morning star. The spirit and the bride say, come. Let anyone who hears say, come. Let anyone who is thirsty, come. Let anyone who desires drink freely from the water of life. Yahweh has made known his salvation. He has displayed it for all the peoples to see. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Yahweh has made known his salvation. He has displayed it for all the peoples to see. Alleluia. Our scripture reading for this evening's prayer is from the New Testament, the book of Hebrews. When Christ came into the world, he said to God, You did not want animal sacrifices or sin offerings, but you have given me a body to offer. You are not pleased with burnt offerings or other offerings for sin. Then I said, Look, I have come to do your will, O God, as it is written about me in the scriptures. An elderly man cried or carried the child, but the child guided the man. The virgin adored her God, the son whom she had born. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Lord, mighty Lord, has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. He has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and, and his offspring forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. An elderly man carried the child, but the child guided the man. The virgin adored her God, the son whom she had born. Alleluia. God of goodness and love, your beloved son is our light, our salvation, and our constant hope. Tonight we exalt in your presence, and we ask you to hear us as we glorify you. For the obedience of Christ, we give you thanks, Lord God. 
for the powerful hope you bring to all who embrace the gospel. We give you thanks, Lord God, for the kindness you show to us day by day. We give you thanks, Lord God, and for the privilege to behold in word and sacrament the salvation you promised. We give you thanks, Lord God. We know that you are close to all in need, and through our prayers for others, we come closer to them and to you. Thus, we are bold to claim your promise of new life for others as we acclaim it for ourselves. For a consistent desire to unite lives with the sacrifice of your Son, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For a heart that is sensitive to the sorrows and pains of others, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For a willingness to seek genuine reconciliation between all peoples, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For the honesty to confess our sins and to turn away from the enemy, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great and for your light and life to be shown to our departed brothers and sisters. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. O Lord God, our Heavenly Father, looking past over this past year, I have to say for myself, it's been a whirlwind. And Father, I pray that for all people who look over this past year, I'm sure many of them say it's been a whirlwind as well, but yet here we are tonight at the final day of this year, ready to move into the new year. Father, I ask you to be with those that are out celebrating tonight, whatever they're doing, whatever they are. Lord, I at least pray for their safety. And I pray that even somehow as they're out tonight, your spirit speaks to their hearts and they would turn their lives to you. Oh, Father, thank you for this opportunity to pray with God's people and for God's people tonight. Be with my abbot, Abbot Bernard, O oh Lord, who's taking a little vacation. Be with my Archbishop, Todd. Watch over him and all the things he has to do. Be with Bishop Rob and grant him your grace, your peace. And also, Lord, be with all the priests in the COICC, and all the lay people, as they work together as one to further your kingdom. And be with the Cistercian Order of the Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary. Be with us priests, be with the deacons, be with the monks, be with each and every one of us, O oh God, as we surrender ourselves to you and serve you day and night through our prayers and our offerings. May everything we do be done for your glory. Almighty God, forgive us our sins. Strengthen us to move forward in our life, living for you in the coming year. Forgive us of the past. May we let the past behind. And may we move forward in your glory and in your strength. Father, I pray in Jesus' name. With confidence, we lift all these needs before the Father, uniting them with the perfect prayer that our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of light, your beloved Son, shared our human nature and built us into a living temple where you might dwell. May the same Spirit who guided Simeon and Anna guide our eyes to behold your salvation, to proclaim your light, and to live more fully our vocation as people of your everlasting covenant. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
O only begotten Son and deathless Word of God, for our salvation you are incarnate of the Blessed Virgin Mary, becoming one with us without the loss of your divinity. You are crucified, O Christ our God, trampling down death by death. You are one with the whole of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Spirit. Save us who cry out to you. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for it is you who will redeem me, O Lord my God. And now, O Lord, dismiss your servants in peace, for your word has been fulfilled. Our eyes have seen the salvation you have displayed in the sight of all the peoples, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May God grant to us a quiet night and a peaceful death. And may souls of the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, rest in peace. Amen. Dear friends, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, May the Lord bless you and keep you in all you do this evening. May he keep you safe mentally, physically, and spiritually, and renew you by the power of his Holy Spirit, united with the faith you have in Christ. It's been my pleasure to serve you through prayers for this year, and I pray that the Lord allows me to continue next year. Friends, be with each other. Be with us in prayer. And love God and love others as Christ loves you. Amen.